bow in prayer. Eternal God, as we honor the achievement of these graduates, we give you thanks for the gift of life. And in this season of so many different changes and transitions, we thank you that you are with us, that you are guiding, and that you are working. Thank you for the hard work of these graduates. Thank you for those who supported them and stood with them in this journey. And thank you now for this chance we have to recognize them and to uh, bless them for the next step in life. We commit this to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, my name is Julie McRavey and I serve as the Associate Vice President of Continuing and Professional Studies here at the University. Congratulations to all of you, the class of 2020. Although the change in our world has caused us to forego our traditional ceremony, please know how proud we are to recognize the completion of your degrees. You've demonstrated persistence, grace, and resilience during your years of work and most recently during this unique time in our history. A worldwide pandemic can be a learning experience in itself, but it was certainly not our intent to include it in your graduate curriculum. As you move through this challenge and continue on to your next adventure, I would encourage you to acknowledge the role that your families and friends have played in your success. You have been compelled to miss a few of their events or asked for extra help at home as you finished a paper, collaborated online with classmates, or finished reading those last few chapters. However, I'm confident that they understood. You became a positive role model for them, even when you felt overwhelmed and anxious. Your professors looked up to you as well. They recognized what was being asked of you in the midst of your very busy lives and at a time of great uncertainty. They too celebrate this day. Again, congratulations on this momentous and much deserved accomplishment. May God bless you. Greetings. On behalf of the entire University of Sioux Falls community, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to extend our heartfelt greetings to our class of 2020, including all of your family and friends, to our first ever and hopefully our last virtual commencement ceremony. For our university community, the commencement event always represents a time of great celebration that is full of energy as we have the honor to gather with our students and their families to commemorate a great achievement in life, that being graduation. Over this many years at the University of Sioux Falls, I've had the great honor to stand in front of that great crowd and gaze out into the great pavilion downtown Sioux Falls and see families and friends anxiously awaiting for this great event to begin. Today it is admittedly a bit eerie and surreal standing here with no one present, yet we strive to persevere through a difficult time in our history, keeping that which is most important directly in front of us. You know, the term commencement in higher education is always representative of getting your diplomas and celebrating with family. But in its purest terms, it's about new beginnings and the idea of that when you graduate, you have a new beginning to go out into the world to serve God and humankind, just like our mission expresses. No matter whether you are one of our 342 undergraduate degree recipients this year or the 161 graduate recipients, this accomplishment is something that should never be taken for granted. Neither can anyone ever take it from you. And by the way, 503 graduating this year represents an all-time record of graduates in the history of our university, and we are so proud of that. Typically, the last few months of any academic year is a whirlwind of special award ceremonies, pinning ceremonies, final tests and projects, goodbyes, job hunts, licensure exams in select fields, and a host of other activities, sometimes not lending itself very well to simply taking a moment to reflect on a great life-transforming experience. However, as I stand here today recording our virtual ceremony, I'd be remiss not to acknowledge that I know 
we have collective disappointment of not being able to gather in person as faith community due to the pandemic. Added to that disappointment, I've had many communications and meetings and know that the emotions of our families and students mirrors that of our great nation as we acknowledge the anxieties of a serious and invisible threat to our personal health and well-being, economic crisis spurred on by loss of jobs and income due to the pandemic, a general feeling of losing great opportunities in life, such as graduating, or perhaps, sadly, even the loss of someone special to you due to COVID-19. However, as we experience the negative outcomes of these times, I am reminded of a verse from a poem titled, In a Dark Time, authored by American poet Theodore Rothke, in which the first verse is as follows. In a dark time, the eye begins to see. As an old adage go, the, o the only thing that stays the same is everything changes. We are amidst a global pandemic, but if it weren't this, it would eventually be another event or force necessitating that we adapt to change. I recently read an article of a 102-year-old woman originally from Iowa who put the coronavirus into some perspective for all of us as she reflected on challenges of her own lifetime, the Spanish flu, of 1918, the Great Depression, a delayed wedding due to World War II, and of course all the other things we all experience over a long life. However, I am also reminded that we are given the gift of constancy and assurance that in the words of Hebrews 13.8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. While there is much discussion today in the United States about the relative value of a college degree, there is statistical proof that each of you have achieved something that will positively impact your quality of life, your earning capacity, and the ability to navigate an increasingly complex world. And even more important than that, you will have the great honor to help subsequent generations navigate this complexity. Students, over the course of your academic endeavors at the University of Sioux Falls, you have had the opportunity to pursue your intellectual curiosity and enhance your creative thinking and your problem solving and improve your ability to communicate and many more. And by the way, these all happen to be critical skills necessary for adapting to change just as we are doing at this very moment. This is why the faculty have strived so hard to teach you how to think rather than what to think. You've also learned other life lessons related to self-discipline the value of perseverance, accepting diverse thinking on topics, working in community, and many more important skills. And all of this has been done within the safe confines of the University of Sioux Falls, a Christian liberal arts community fully committed to your success. We know from our own experiences that commencement is an emotional time, even absent the additional considerations of the pandemic we find ourselves in today. You're pleased to be done and proud of your accomplishments, but sad to leave your friends and mentors, especially since you had to leave earlier than anticipated and move to more impersonal online instructional venues. Most who have had the experience of pursuing a college degree recognize it is one of the most meaningful times of your life where you find your passions and meet some of the most important people in your life, sometimes long-lasting, lifelong friends. And perhaps maybe you're a bit anxious about what lies ahead on that great horizon, especially amidst the economic chaos brought on by this global health crisis. I can only hope that the pride you feel for this major life accomplishment of graduating is rivaled only by the nostalgia with which you remember this place and the special relationships you forged with professors and staff, and of course your fellow students as you pursued your common pursuit of a degree. Please know that our entire faculty and staff feel a sense of loss also in missing this important event, that being the ability to personally congratulate each of you and spend quality time with you and congratulate your families for their support in this very important endeavor in your life. I have one of the greatest jobs in the world to work with an extraordinarily dedicated group of professional faculty and staff and their passion for each of you and our students is second to none. Remain mindful of one thing as you think about graduation. 
It should not be reviewed or viewed as a reward for past accomplishments of the last few years as you pursued the degree, but rather this is an obligation to the future as you walk out of the confines of USF with your diplomas. And may I add, there's a bright future because we know that better days are just beyond that great horizon when this pandemic is controlled. And to our graduates, their families and friends, thank you so much for being part of our USF faith and academic community. We consider all of you family. And although we know the virtual nature of our relationships in recent weeks has been difficult, I'm always reminded that friendship and love can overcome any geographical separation, no matter how distant. God bless and enjoy this special moment of celebration with your family and friends.
University of Sioux Falls has a tradition that at graduation, after you've received your diploma, you also receive a towel. This small towel is symbolic of our school motto of culture for service. And it goes back to our divine servant statue that's on the north end of the library, where you see the representation of Jesus washing the feet of Peter. This is based on John 13, where Jesus, on the night of which he was betrayed, before uh, he goes to the garden, he washes the disciples' feet and does it as an act of servanthood, for this was an act in that culture for the very lowest of the servants. Jesus washes their feet and then says, after he's dried that with a towel, he, after the, he says to them, uh, I have given you an example that you should also go and serve one another. In the other Gospels, he mentions that the greatest of these must be the servant of all. And so we give you this towel today as a symbol of servanthood, for with a degree comes a call to serve. And to whom much is given, much is required, Jesus said. And so what you've earned, this a degree which we give you today, comes with an obligation, a moral, spiritual obligation to be a servant leader in whatever avenue of life God calls you. So may this towel that we give you be symbolic of that and a great reminder in the years to come. God bless you.